I'm a father to three now teenage boys, but my wife, Tasha of 22 years and I, when our boys were, were little, uh, we would do different things to surprise their broker, to surprise uh, or defamiliarize the ordinary for them. And so just tactically, some of the things that we would do is we would eat dinner backwards. So randomly throughout the year, one time we would start with the dessert first and then move our way into the, the main courses. We would uh, have costume contests. We would build, you know, forts. A lot of things that the parents would do, we would do them at unusual times where we would have bedtime at eight o'clock sharp, lights out, no talking because discipline was important to us. But then periodically in unknown times throughout the, the year, and this is again when they were little, we would get them up in the middle of the night to go to Chuck E. Cheese or to watch a movie together or to randomly have dessert. Physically, was it good for their body in that day to be fatigued the next morning? No. Do they remember those experiences above all else in their childhood? Yes. Because we surprised Broca, because we gave them something that was unusual and exciting. And so we, we called it crazy daddy time where we would just spontaneously drop in almost jackpot rewards as parents for our children, not because they were earned, not because they finished their homework, not because it was tied to any performance, but because we were trying to mix up their brain cells. We wanted to help them learn this idea of expanding into the land of imagination and then contracting and focusing back into discipline or finishing their homework or finishing their dinner or going to bed with the lights out and teeth brushed on time. And so it's that idea of both expanding and then contracting playing and then doing the hard work, but getting their minds familiar with this process of yes and. Because if, you, if we just let them go, then they would be wild children uh, and the creativity would never be harnessed. If we were just simply disciplined, then they would be autopilot robots who maybe finished tasks on time, but didn't have a lot of the heart and passion and curiosity to uh, pursue ideas on their own. So it was for us continuing to wake up their minds. In a lot of ways, our boys, have almost been our kind of ongoing research and development project where we will test drive different ideas with them and see how their minds respond, see how their actions respond. And Crazy Data Time was just one of those things that we did as parents that has been very, very cool. And I don't patent any of this. Any of you, if you're parents, then you can take any one of those ideas. And I, I do encourage you to uh, to do that. And, and as you do, your children will end up being your biggest fans for stimulating the next idea. You don't have to rely on just having dinner backwards or just getting them up after they go to bed. You might not be down with those ideas, but there's other ones that you can do. Uh, commission your children to create you artwork. You know, write me a short story about what you want to be when you grow up. Paint me a picture of what your mom means to you or what she would look like as an angel. If you do that, I'll take you out for ice cream. I'll take you and your friends out to uh, go see Moana or the latest movie. But commissioning your, your children to create, not necessarily, again, a finished product, but it's that process of imagination, of writing, of dancing, singing, photography, math, English, history, music, all of those things are processes of thinking, not about finished products, just completing the homework time assignment on time as asked, going beyond that and igniting their own fascination. So with our children, that's how we do it. As leaders, it's that exact same formula. How do you fascinate your employees? How do you make them curious to want to go the next mile uh, to put in additional discretionary effort? And then even for your own self, how do you fascinate and ignite yourself into new ideas? Continue making yourself curious and explorative.